John, first defeat of the season for the Bradford Bulls. What's your, your thoughts? Uh, good question. Uh, not very pleased. I thought it was abysmal. Uh, I thought it was disrespectful. Uh, we had players who came today expecting to stroll through uh, and win and uh, they got a shock because we came up against a team who were very hungry who had a great desire to win and I think the summary of this can be that they wanted to win more than we did and I think that showed I mean we've had similar possession similar penalty counts uh, but all the game was virtually played in our half and that was because they carried the ball with more intent the rook speed was quicker and defensively they whacked us and stopped us going forward so uh, it's intensely disappointing How much work is there to do John on the back of a disappointing performance like that? Well, I think if you anybody who's watched that will realise we've a hell of a lot of work to do you know uh, I think they believed uh, their own publicity too much. I think they've had that much smoke blown up the backside. They thought they were Leo Featherson. Well, if you come with a disrespectful attitude against any team in this division, that's what you get. We never, never really looked. We scored that early try, and from them, we never really looked like winning the game. Even when we went, you know, we go 12 6 up and then we make an error, tackle one, I know we got the penalty for it, but we make an error, tackle one, we should be as tight as anything. We go 14-12 up and we don't claim the kickoff, and then they score in the, in the next set. So, you know, we've just been our own worst enemies, but that was a t they were a team who were trying to prove something after last week, and they had a great practice up at Barrow in similar conditions, and we were a team who felt comfortable and had believed our own publicity, and their hunger and desire absolutely smashed us. They deserve to win by more than that. When we've spoken previously, John, you've mentioned the word consistency. We've not seen that today. No, no we haven't. What, what, do you, what do you put that down to ultimately? I put it down to how we, tur we, we turned up today with an attitude that would just win. And you, you could tell it was as if they didn't want to play in those conditions. Well, the conditions were the same for both teams. You know, we had a, a, a howling wind behind us in the first half and we still couldn't get up here. So we've just been poor in every single aspect of the game of rugby league today. Is there any positives to take from today? I don't think so. No, I've just sat and, uh, with the coaches. And I, said, I don't think I can find one player, really, who I'd say had a good game. I think every single player will have felt that they didn't fulfil their roles to a, uh, an, an adequate standard. With so much change in, in the off-season, John, and so many new faces, the fact that you've had a first taste of a bit of complacency today, is that a concern for you? It is, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. If, if you're going to be successful, you've got to turn up with a, a, winning e a winner's edge every single game, and we didn't. We did last week, and you could see... The, how we started the game last week, it was as if we were on fast-forward. How we started the game this week, it was as if we were on rewind. It was so slow, we were so slow, sluggish, lethargic, all those uh, words. Is, is it fair to say it's going to be a long eight days now between the end of this game and that game on Monday against Leeds? Well, it, it will be, yeah, but it's, it's a nice easy one as well, because the play like that against Leeds will get 100 put on him, believe you me, because uh, it was woeful. And uh, the players have agreed, you know, they, they feel it was abysmal. I think Steve Crossley described it as abysmal, and uh, I'm with him on that, it was. Is a message now to, to show a response and perform that? The message now is to look back at this. That's the message now. We've got to look back, and we've got to understand exactly why this happened. And, and then we've got to ensure that it doesn't happen again. There was no Elliot Keir, John, what's up with He was injured last week and uh, we thought he was going to be fit, but he wasn't. So, uh, you know, he picked up a leg injury last week and uh, he may well be missing next week as well because his range of movement and the power in his leg just uh, isn't enough to play. Can, can you expect to uh, recall any of the, the other uh, six that are out injured? 
for next week. Yeah, I'm hoping. Yeah, I'm hoping that we'll have two or three back this next week. And obviously, it's been made a lot easier for them to be recalled into the team, hasn't it? I don't think anyone, if if they're left out after that performance, I don't think anybody can question the reasoning why. As Nick touched upon it, John, with the consistency, is that make it all the more hard to find how impressive you were against Jewsbury last week? Yes, it was different conditions. Yes, I get that different stadium even, but. The way you were last week compared this week, it was completely nine different. We were like two different. Stuff. I would agree with you. So I'm, I'm not. Dis- it, we were like two different teams. You know, last week we looked hungry, uh, and we had that winner's edge last week. You could tell that. And this week we've we've just we've been awful, and we still had chance to win the game. You know, you go twelve six up at that time, and you think, well, now we just need to really rack up a few completed sets and and keep them out. But what do we do? We, we let them straight back in. Then we get fourteen twelve up, and the, the score in the next set. And from then, it just got worse and worse and worse. Well, that must be one of the things for all. Like you, you said, you were miserable. You didn't play well, but it was silly little errors, like sort of uh, Reese's push when it hit Steve and went out for the thing. Little little things that just happened yep. that cost you things that must be all more than the fact that you almost could have got away with bad forms and still got something if it hadn't been for those kind of things we didn't deserve anything Nathan today we, didn't, we honestly didn't deserve anything if, if we'd have won today it would have been a travesty of justice it with was. um with ryan coming in for, for his first start obviously you said not pretty technical from the table with ryan coming in and playing in unfamiliar position as well, does that just show at least you've got someone that can play there? If it's, it's play, I mean, he's played fullback before, he's played fullback for Sheffield, so you know, it's not as if we threw him in, in cold. Uh, but obviously, he hasn't had the best of debuts, but he's played in a team that hasn't had a very good performance, so uh, that's how it is. And as I say, we've really got to, before we look forward, we've got to look back and try to identify exactly the reasoning behind that lot. You mentioned there that the lads almost with the small bump the rest that I mean, they thought they were like Lee or Feathers, and is that an important message to the lads you got a long way to go before you reach that Exactly target. right, exactly right. That's that's a great way of putting it and that's a, that'll be a message very succinctly put when we do our review early early this next week. Thanks, Lord. How important was Anthony Fakri for Sheffield this afternoon? Is is I mean, if you look on our tip sheet, we put you keep Fakri quiet, you win the game, well we didn't. Is is absolutely you know, in terrible conditions, it is played some great rugby, has made some great decisions, and ultimately, it is is just well, it hasn't been the difference because I thought our seventeen of their team were better than our seventeen, so they've just been better than us today. And just one final one, John. It's the Midland Hurricanes on Saturday. How do you plan to use that that run out? I, I need to look back at this first before I worry about how I'm going to use that. But uh, obviously, you know, some players we're going to use to get some. Uh, game time into the legs well they might well find themselves elevated straight back into the first team because that just wasn't good enough and we, we, more, more for you, we talked in the week about the lads all, obviously all the lads coming back you saw sort of the, the wild celebrations from, from like Ross when he got just showed like, from, so, Ross, sorry. from Ross Oaks when he yes. got his try almost how much they won it and someone's no both got won it compared to how much yes. the players won it well I mean that's one of the things you know that there's I think there were six or seven ex Bulls players, weren't there? Yeah. And they've come back here and they've spanked our backsides. No doubt about that. They've really proved a point.